Hey guys, Rex Hunt here with another Awakened Chaos Era video. Today we're going to do it from 21 to 30. Let's go. So, the same teams, nothing has changed. Let's keep going. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting. <whistles> Haven't had an opportunity of them to get seven stacks yet to stun lock us. But we should be okay. I don't think they will ever get an opportunity to get um, seven turns. Um, but that's fine, it's fine. It'll be, um, quite interesting to, um, to see. If you guys want to see any champions, um, before I hit floor 60, um, to try them out in on that Lightwing Zachary stage. If you do have any champions that you do want to see tested or tried out on, um, do let me know because I'll be kind of curious. What I might do is sit on floor 60 for a hot minute and um, try and work out some different teams or comps that um, may or may not work. Against Lightwing Zachary here. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be okay. This is a Lightwing stage. We should be fine. Got a curse proc. Amazing. Let's do that. Boom, 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 ba -dum, boom, boom. Can we get a kill here with Zachary Do? No. Survive whoever's getting attacked. Oh, easy. Not even worried. Gone. Gone skis. Gone skis. So guys, what do you think of the gear set so far in the game that they added just recently? I'm very, very curious. Oh, what do you guys think about it? Um, are you liking it? Do you think it's nifty? Does it make your gameplay a little bit more easier to 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 regear champions and stuff now, or um, is it a little bit annoying? What do what do you think? I think it was a good improvement. I do like it. I don't know. If there's a limit on how many save sets you can do, but for the characters that we use quite a bit of. Uh, for different situations is great it's, it's fantastic to be honest because um, I have different builds for different um, dungeons and stuff so especially using Gangalo and Santas uh, in a lot of them um, I do have different builds for different dungeons so now I can gear them up and save them and then like, like let's say I want to do Dragon right I want to do the Flarence team I can just swap them over into a curse set or put them back into a revival set um either one of those you know it'll be uh quite interesting um it just makes my life so much easier instead of trying to find out what piece goes on who and what not and what and go for you know um so much easier with that um it's quite cool What we might do is, um, once we get to a stage, after we finish this one, we might switch out the champions and um, try something different. Be interesting. If you do have any champions that you do want to see in the dungeon, and I have, or I may not have, I could definitely give it a go. Um, Especially, um, I do pre-record all these videos, but, um, I will probably stop 
pre-recording this might be the last one that I run for a hot minute or two so I can edit the videos and release them and see what you guys think um, before I progress any further but yeah I'm void towers just like the other one except for this time uh, stall comps and stuff would not work not work at all for this one unfortunately um, as I mentioned previously floor 90 is generally the hardest stage in void tower in my opinion um, I probably shouldn't have done that that's okay uh, that's what it is should be fine though yeah good 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 should be fine um, also I'm gonna be doing dungeon videos testing as you might have seen I did the Shulans one not too long ago that was quite interesting I didn't know how that team exactly worked but I did know it worked um, I am recording a list of different dungeon teams and stuff so if there's any teams or champions that you want to see um, in certain dungeons do let me know because I'm gonna try them out um, I built up a Cryox or whatever his name is I'm gonna try him out and um, test him out in Queen um, I'm not too sure how well he would do but he might do really good in stage 12 um, any of that um, type of stuff and so on and so forth sorry guys I've been kind of neglecting the uh, void tower and telling you who or what to attack um, but a little bit more if you do want to see a little bit more information on these floors do check the other videos out as I do hard focus and tell you who and why to focus these champions so I apologize for that oh I forgot Melisa's here Melisa is such a great champion very strong very very strong champion very good Windrex killer too by the way guys if you're struggling with those Windrex teams in arena um, she would uh, by far help you with those ones there the Lux cleans up for us thank you very much doing quite nicely void tower is pretty easy 27th floor cruising along having a good time also oh dear um, the team the 3v3 arena um, is quite nifty I do like the little the town hall from raid um, the little power up that thing is quite nifty um, if you guys are buying anything out of it my, my suggestion would be to purchase the yellow crystals um, since they require so much of your arena tokens and it's pretty easy to push up to rank 5 or 6 or whatever it is before you need those yellow crystals so my suggestion if you do um, any of those 3v3 arenas that you should be sending your points in those yellow um, the yellow crystals shards whatever you want to call them they would probably be the ones to go for since you they're really hard to get the yellow ones and they require so many yellow um, was it I think to get the first rank six or seven it was 70 yellow crystals right and out of that 70 yellow crystals it cost you 1400 3v3 arena tokens and that's quite a lot for one level um, so just be cautious of that um, the greens and blues you'll get a surplus of them not a big deal um, you'll get plenty of those over time especially when you're probably maybe some of you are pushing into the gold platinum levels by now hopefully um, you probably would have noticed it's getting a bit harder now um yeah uh, my suggestion if you are going to buy anything in the 3v3 shop 
by the yellow crystals. They are the ones that you're going to need the most, and a lot of them. So I would buy them, or you can buy the forging mats. I honestly wouldn't worry about forging mats. The forging, forging is 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 uh, so bad. Um, because you need a lot of materials to even get a decent piece, right? Um, but damn. Damn. Alright, defense down. We do AoE taunt with Luna Melisa. There we go. Ooh. What we may do is proc that. Let's poke that guy. Oh, I didn't realize that was, um, that's a gay. It's okay, it's all part of the plan. You just kill Yolanda, then advance, right? Easy. It's all part of my plan. Totally didn't misclick that. Totally didn't almost scuff myself. Alright, floor 30, mole hex. There's no real big issue here. You kill mole hex first. And that looks pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, Guild vs. Environment came out too. Um, that's quite nifty. I have to do a, a little video on that one, the breakdown of Guild vs. Environment. What you should aim for. A little bit of information. Um, we'll do something like that. Or maybe not, maybe not. Who knows, we'll see. Um, yeah, alright, moment of truth, defense down, we'll kill Molhex and Zatlux, defense down, Molhex and Zatlux, and then Rurok, the other guy, whatever this guy's name is, is not that a big of a problem, he should die from Nathalia, here we go, nice, very good, Antonua comes in with the cleanup duty. Thank you very much, Antonua. Slapping like a boss. And we're done. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Take care. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.